Hey everyone, Randolph here. I've got Richard Hogg who's going to talk to us about Hohokam today. Am I pronouncing that correctly in the first place? Uh, uh, what, Richard Hogg or Hohokam? Hohokam. Hohokam, yeah. Okay. That's, that's, that's how you say the name of our game, Hohokam. Oh, okay, yeah. and you're showing off uh, a new level today, yeah? It's the guano level, is it? It is, right? yeah, okay. yeah. Do you know what guano is? Uh, I do, but I think I'd let you do the introduction to our audience as to what I it is. I don't want to tell people what guano <laughs> is. It's, you know, that's what Wikipedia is for. Oh, okay. But it's something right. cool. It's, a, it's yep. a cool thing in the real world and um, mm -hmm. a bit of our game is all about guano. Okay. And, uh, um, but yeah, it, it's it's kind of like poop, I guess. Yes. But, but <laughs> it's kind of the nice side of poop, I like to think. You know? Okay. Yeah. All right. So, so what's actually happening on screen right now? What are we, what are we looking at here? So in the game Hohokam, mm -hmm. you're this thing, we call it the long mover, mm -hmm. and he's a kind of like a long line, colourful line with an eye, mm -hmm. a little bit like a snake or a worm or something, and you fly in this 2D sort of sort of space. And mm -hmm. quite a lot of time in the game, you, you carry people around on you like this. And mm -hmm. in different bits of the game, um, there's all sorts of different characters and people that you can you can give lifts and you can take them to different places and help them out. Mm -hmm. In this particular uh, area of the game, there's a kind of a factory, and these guys uh, work. They're part of the factory. They work there, and their their job is to go out and harvest. Um, well, their job initially is to stand on these platforms and, and harvest the guano mm -hmm. uh, that's being deposited by these kind of drone-like creatures. As mm -hmm. um, and um, they. They can only reach the ones that are, that are near the platforms where they're standing. So you've come along. They don't know what you are. You're this weird pan-dimensional being that's mm. appeared in their world. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden they can ride on you and you can help them collect um, more guano that was previously inaccessible. Okay. And because of this, you can the, um, the, the production's low in the factory. Things haven't been going, going too well. Mm. Um, and, and you can help them bring their factory back to life as it okay. were. And it seems sort of fairly freeform, which I guess sort of ties in with, um, I guess one of the, the themes of the game is, is exploration. Yeah, is that right? it's, yeah. yeah freeform is a good word. It's, mm. it's, it's a very free free game. There's no there's no death in this game. You, you, ne mm. you, 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 you never die. Mm. You never really fail. There's no sense of, of, of having failing, of failing something. Mm. Yeah. Um, we wanted to make a game that's not particularly stressful. It's about exploring places and immersing yourself in places and 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 um, and kind of yeah um, being this being this thing mm -hmm. in this world and you're you're quite an exuberant creative thing and 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 just the way you move around in the world is kind of like doodling or flying a kite you know it's a, mm -hmm. it's an exuberant um, sort of um, D does your length actually vary? Your length uh, does vary, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, depending on, it's nothing like points or anything. It's just depending on speed. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so, what's your, um, what were the inspirations and in, in leading up to this game? I mean, obviously, you know, the, the whole sort of freeform experience isn't something that you come across gaming that often. Yeah, I think mm. it's a case of partly wanting to, um, yeah, wanting to make something that's a bit different, and, and specifically mm. wanting to make something that's that's not particularly stressful. Like, I'm inspired, yeah. like. One thing that's an inspiration for me is is, 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 is the way I, I play games mm. a lot, mm. where I games that are quite stressful, they've got, I don't know, violence and, 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 and frightening things in them, or things that are really hard where you fail a lot and have to restart a thing. Mm. Sometimes I, there's certain games that are beautif beautiful environments that I want to explore, like, say for instance, an Assassin's Creed game, you know, I want to I want to explore Renaissance Florence mm. and find out all about these buildings, mm. but I don't really want to stab people. Mm. And um, and I'm always trying to find ways of playing those games where I can I can have a, have a I can enjoy these environments and enjoy these like like that, like those Assassin's Creed games. Are, um, I can't remember which one it is. The one that's set in Florence is it's such an amazing achievement. How well they've recreate, you know, they've created this this environment. Um, and I quite, I do actually quite enjoy stabbing people in games, but <laughs> but I'm not always in the mood for that. And so uh, yeah, I guess we were in, we wanted to make a game where for when you're not in that mood, okay. you know, for when you're in the mood for chilling out and 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 listening to some really cool music and 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 immersing yourself in in a in a, in a different kind of place that yeah. you get in a lot of video games i guess uh, we have yeah. you know we have said sort of free form you know you you know said relaxation but you know there's still you know like a goal um, there are, there, to, to achieve in, in the game there are various mm. goals and it varies from place to place um some places in the game i'm totally unapologetic about the fact that some places in the game are 
very much about just being there and 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 and, and, and just a cool place to hang out um, or to travel through and think, oh, this is an interesting place I'm travelling through. Some places have more dis- more sort of traditional video game things going on where you have to. Um, like in this this particular level, you are effectively unlocking more bits of the game as you go by collecting this this commodity, mm. and you're gaining as as you fill up this tank, you're gaining access to different bits of the factory where there are different things. Okay. Uh, and there's, there's there's quite a few bits of the game that are like that, where there's almost like a puzzle or a there's a there's a series of events that you have to figure out how to get these things to happen, and then there's a kind of completion state that you reach. So so yeah, there are things like that, and there are sometimes things that are quite hard to do as well. Yeah. But generally, the things that are really hard to do are always things that aren't essential because we don't want people to be it's not a game where we want people ever to feel stuck or to feel like they've done something wrong or like they you know like uh, they need to they need to yeah, so, so, so the, fe- the feeling is I guess you know it, it's somewhat hypnotic right in that you want players to I guess lose themselves in, in the level and the activity so, as yeah, opposed yeah. to the goals that they're that's that are set in front yeah, of them I guess so yeah yeah it's mm. like spending time in a in, 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 hopefully in an interesting place mm. um, but then you know there are other things as well so there are there are kind of there's a sort of a running theme of a particular type of object that's hidden hidden within the artwork that you that if you want to you can become ob- you can become obsessed with finding these things that are hidden everywhere and uh, there which is um, which is a thing that I always love games that have something like that and I think our game lends itself quite nicely to that Okay. And um, and if you're really crazy for for like uh, making sure that you've done everything right, you yeah. there, there are obviously trophies as well. You're a completionist, right? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Well, thank you very much, Richard. One last question: When can we expect the game to come in? Um, we uh, we are saying uh, 2014 at the moment, some point in 2014, and it's uh, it's going to be on uh, PlayStation 4, PlayStation Vita, and PlayStation 3. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. All right, then um, let's try and get some more hands-on with uh, with Holcom now, and we'll explore a few more levels. Okay, now I've got Elisa here from Sony, who's going to show us a little bit more about the game. So we're back in the guano level here, right? Yes, we are. Okay, can you talk to a little bit uh, about the controls? How, how does it actually work? So when you press X, you kind of move more quickly in fast mode, and then circle is slow. So you're always moving, though? You're always moving, yeah. Okay. Um, actually, if you take your hands off the controls completely, it'll still kind of... Okay. wander about yeah. um, and then there's also these little um, the R1 and L1 they kind of do the wiggle motion for you oh, okay. a little more quickly right, okay. and does that build up speed then? yes right, it builds okay. up speed okay. now the little guys that are on your back how do they get there like do they just jump on when you're close enough here? yeah they do um, yeah. they hang out kind of on these little platforms um, they're kind of grabbing this liquidy substance guano yeah. and um, then you get to take them around and help them gather it. Okay. And I guess we were talking with Richard earlier about you know the goal I guess in, in this level and, and I see there was like a, like a level marker there that you're just mm-hmm. swinging around. Is, is that what you need to try and get to? Is that right? Or? Essentially yeah. Okay. And um, it's it's not laid out so you know point blank but it's kind of one of those things that if you're jumping into the level and you're wandering around, you kind of discover it over time as you collect more guano. And there's some cute little things that are just fun, like these little animations. Okay. So and they'll they just hose themselves down, but they're collecting at the same time. Then? Is that right? So here they're not collecting, oh, okay. but um, it, it's funny because if you actually drop into this, into the guano itself, mm-hmm. and you turn this color, like the guano, because you're covering guano. <laughs> um, but if you pick them up again, you can clean it off with um, once they clean themselves off. And I guess this, um, this goes back to the whole exploration theme of the game, right? Like, because essentially you, you just come to this level and you just have to explore, right? Figure out what to do and where um, all the different things are, is that right? Yeah, there's no direction in the game, um, except once you, you'll see it a little bit later, when you actually complete a level, uh, there will be a little indicator just where the next one is. Okay. And I see, you know, like the... Wow, there you go. So there are these little mini cutscenes that you have, and you can see there are more of the little drones. Okay. Yeah, and once again, you know, that was... You, know, you had to find that, right? Mm-hmm. Like, just by exploring it. Yeah, it's, it's not something that you would necessarily just, like... There's some stuff that's maybe more noticeable as to what you're supposed to be doing, but for the most part, it's really kind of explorative. And okay. 
Shall we um shall we jump to a new level? Yeah, of course. Okay. So what, what else can you show us today? So let's see, I think we'll go to the light level. Okay. Um, in this one, it's a little more kind of simplistic. Because mm -hmm. the goal is just to kind of turn on these lights. Mm -hmm. And then once you do that, kind of the music kind of starts. I guess yeah, the, the music is I, I guess key to, um, to to the mood in this, right? Can you tell us a little mm -hmm. bit more about you know the artists that you're working with for this? Yeah, so um, all of the music is from Ghostly International. Um, a lot of their some of the artists we're working with are Tycho and then Matthew Deere. Mm -hmm. um, and when the team was creating this, they kind of had this playlist of things of, of music that they thought um, that they enjoyed kind of listening to while they were making the game, and that's kind of when they went to Santa Monica Studio and were like, hey, you know, is it possible at all to kind of get some of these artists to be on the soundtrack? And um, it worked out that Ghostly was really excited to work with us and, um, you know, now we're doing, they're doing all the music for it. So uh, have they created music specifically? For they have created a few new tracks. Mm -hmm. um, some of it's existing music. So like, um, for instance, Matthew Deere's song, Temptation. Um, that's off of his soundtrack, or his uh, album, Beams. Mm -hmm. So each uh, level would have, I guess, unique music then, is mm -hmm. that right? Okay. Yeah, something that fits kind of with the, the flavor of the level. Okay. And what's the flavor of this one, would you say, then? I think this one, um, as Richard kind of described to me mm -hmm. once, is that um, it's more a level to kind of listen to good music and mm -hmm. kind of float around and explore. So like a lot of this, there's empty space, mm -hmm. essentially, and you can kind of just make these neat shapes. There's a little, there's um, kind of this fun stuff up here, which I'll come back to, but... Um, okay. Like this level seems a lot more, um, I guess, meditative than the, than the previous level, right? Yeah, so, exactly. Yeah. So less less structure with this one, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So then this is kind of like the um, mm -hmm. cultivation of all the work that you've done, essentially. And um, these little guys uh, are gonna have some additional sounds too with them. So. The violinist is going to have some actual like music playing, and then mm. the little guy is going to be singing. Okay. So there is a there is I guess a completion point, or is that kind of yeah? yeah. I mean, okay. um, I think that in terms of um, when they were doing play testing, they kind of found that once people did certain things, they were looking for kind of something to reward them, and so they started implementing things like that into the game. Okay. So people didn't just want a uh, free form, complete free form experience? Some people did. Some yeah. people just kind of spent their time doing these neat little shapes. Okay. And then playing with the music. I was going to ask, uh, your length seems to vary. How does, how does that work? Yeah, it, um, it varies based on like your speed. Mm. So kind of the more quickly you move around, the longer it gets. Okay. Oh, there you go. So the stuff you're collecting here goes into here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and these are little kind of secret things you discover. Just by exploring, right? Yeah. Like none of this is communicated to you as you have to go out and find it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And you might not have noticed this if you were just playing, like, you know, I played it a lot. But, mm -hmm. um, yeah, some people, I guess, didn't even realize you could go up this high mm -hmm. in the level. Music does form a really big part of it, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and what's interesting is this um, this kind of creature that they're essentially calling the long mover is um, like the way that it moves is really kind of fluid and exuberant, um, kind of like a like kite flying. Mm. It's like snake like. Okay. Is there another level that you wanted to show? Yeah. Off as well? Okay. There's this bit. Right. Okay. 
And what's neat is these little little things kind of follow you around as you fly. Mm. And you have to somewhat guide them there. Yeah. Okay. Like you're building a constellation, huh? Yeah, essentially. Okay. They're mock stellations. Mock stellations, okay. <laughs> yeah. And your color is is that randomized as well, or? It... Do you think you can figure out how the color changes? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's actually like a color wheel. Oh, okay. So if you go in one direction, it's different color. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Yeah, it is pretty neat. slow down and get there. Huh? Yeah. So those are pathways to different worlds. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and those will be kind of um, laid out differently in each level. Okay. Have you said how many worlds there'll be? So um, there are actually, because it's so early in development, a mm -hmm. lot of the levels um, from when they started, you know, they didn't set out to create like specific, like this is how many levels we're going to have or anything like that. but. Mm -hmm. Some levels are much larger, like this one and the factory level, the guano one. Yeah. Um, whereas that other one was much smaller. So some of them have been split up or combined to make one level. Mm. But it'll be somewhere between like 10 and 20. Okay. So. Was that a big chili hanging out up there? What is that? What? That. It's kind of like a. Oh, okay. It's a creature of some sort. Oh, you mean this? Yeah, that this thing. right here? Yeah, that thing. Yeah. It's actually a kite. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, it's okay. Him. It's flying a little kite. <laughs> so, in this one, um, you, these little guys kind of hop on your back and you fly around with them. So, yeah, like definitely each level has different things that you have to try and explore, right? Yeah. It's not, you know, one set objective. No, it's different every time, and the creatures that you come in contact with are really different. And he's got a cape. Yeah, guy. he's got a little cape. They actually, there are a few different, um, different ones, like the mm -hmm. guy holding the kind of little. Yeah, what is that? It's kind of like a pine cone type yeah, thing, and. That's where he wants to be, obviously. Oh, okay. Now he's got a kite. Yeah. Okay. So, What's but, this level called? Um, you know, they don't have like specific names for the level, with mm -hmm. the exception of Guano, Guano. just because it's so fun to say. <laughs> but I guess this would be like the kite level. Okay, yeah. Um, so you can see these, there are a few different little guys that you meet and they have mm -hmm. kind of different outfits. Okay. So it's, you know, it, it's, a, I guess, a little bit Nobby Nobby Boy in... Mm -hmm. Um, I guess the vibe of it? Is, is that how you guys like to describe it? Or? Um, I think it's kind of its own thing, but yeah, I mean, mm. it's definitely got elements of that in it. Mm. Okay. And you'll notice that like things, little things that you interact with, they kind of make different kind of sounds. And I think more so in the lights level, it really adds to the music. Mm. But there's definitely going to be a little touches like that in the game. So a game that should be played with, I guess, headphones on yes. in the dark, right? <laughs> okay. Not necessarily in the dark, <laughs> okay. but yeah, you'll get the uh, full impact of the color scheme, that's for sure. Okay. All right, and well, the music. And... Well, thank you very much for showing us the game. Yeah, no Can you um, just recap for us when, uh, when it's added in the, um, the different platforms? Yeah, so it's going to be available on the PS4, PS3, and PS Vita. Um, it's coming out next year. Next year. 2014. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time once again. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. I can see me doing, yeah, just like headphones on and just... Yeah, wasting like yeah, so many hours. Turning the lights hours, off and yeah. just zoning out, I think. Yeah, it's funny because um, as we continue to show this, I notice yeah. that everyone's more relaxed yeah. after they've been playing it for a while. Yeah. So what's neat is, um, it's it, it, hard, it, it is hard though, right? Because a lot of my questions were, you know, the goal or, you know, 
what you do because that's what yeah. gaming is about, right? Exactly. So yeah, it, it's such a unique concept to just, you know, have something where it's just explore, bum mm -hmm. around, you know, get lost in the music type stuff. Yeah, and um, there's a lot of stuff in here that's kind of surprising that you may mm. not know. Like while you're doing these kind of main objectives, mm. um, you know, just little stuff like um, like that little these pink vines that pop up mm. as you just fly around. They're just like really pretty, and I love kind of flying by them. There's just little stuff that um, it's hypnotizing. You get lost in. Yeah, With just music as well. See, and then. Once these little things fly by, fly by her, so can you she'll pop on. Were you zooming in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you can zoom in and forgot to mention that. Okay, that's okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, you can zoom in and zoom out. And she doesn't want to jump on. No, well, she actually, um, she hops on to like um, little spots along the way as she's flying through. Actually, all of them. There's there's quite oh, a few of them. Okay. Yeah. So when she gets to the the top, the kites, mm. um, she like dances around and stuff. There's these neat little animations. And what you're doing is affects the music, right? Um, or yeah. is it just a straight up soundtrack? I think for this one, not yeah. so much. Okay. Um, some of the other ones, it it does. Yeah. Yeah. So like this one, like running into things like. Yeah. It could almost, if you really Because it, it seemed like yeah. the tempo seemed to like really lift when you released, um, you know, all the all the girls floating up. Yeah. So I thought, is, is, that, is that something that will only happen when you, you know, actually do mm -hmm. release those girls or whether it was just, you know, yeah, they're timed? Yeah, there are definitely some things that are kind of cued okay. by your kind of productivity in a level or lack of productivity. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Someone just get eaten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's kind of sad. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's some stuff that um, like you, it's still done in a cheerful way, like a yeah. fun kind of thing. But um, like in the in the guano level at the very bottom, mm. some of the drones are just wiped out from okay. all their work, and so they're mm. kind of on the bottom. They look almost like they're dead, but they're not. They're like sleeping. Did, pretty, pretty funny. Did Richard do the designs for this as well? Yes, okay. yeah, he did all the artwork. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. And kind of worked out some of the gameplay elements with uh, with Ricky. Right. Thank you very much for taking yeah. the time out. No problem. So that was our look at Hohokam. If you want more information, please check out Gamespot.com. Thanks, everyone.